Marvel never gon' change You don't know ass nigga, that be the game Same nigga I used to be, fried niggas get used to me Dead man if you fool with me, say that for your eulogy Yo, what is going on y'all, it's your boy Vel and we are back with another Mobile Legends video And this is another video on um, composition and synergy because you all loved the last one so much yesterday so yeah we're gonna jump straight into it but before we do make sure you drop that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new and definitely make sure you drop the thumbs up because this is a topic that needs to be shared when you see people picking like three mages and stuff like that when you see people picking double marksmen like this is going to teach people why certain picks just shouldn't just shouldn't happen and also it's going to make people think a little bit more because now people are going to start to understand what tank they should use and what situation like what marksman is best for the current situation and stuff like that so this is what we're going to go over throughout this video we're going to show i'm going to show you a real live um Brin esports versus evo ma evos match and you're going to actually see this being put into use in a real game against the best players in the world these are the these are some of the best players in the world so you're going to be able to take a look at them doing it so check this out what you're looking at on the screen right now this Estes pick and this um the top pick, it's they're not the strongest tank, nor are they the strongest um are they the strongest freaking healer in the game. These are not these are not two meta picks. These are not two good heroes, people would say, right? But look at what they're doing. So this is their primary source of damage. This is their um primary source of damage right here. And these last two picks. What they do is they make these picks stronger. So this synergy between these heroes is actually going to be huge. So when you look at Lilia, what does she do? Lilia is basically a close, closest range burst hero. She has this little perimeter where she can just throw down bombs and spam bombs. And it really makes it so um, she, she like it, within an area, she's deadly. You have Terizla. What does he, he do? His ultimate, within an area, he's dangerous. Within a certain area, he's very, very dangerous. Carrie. Carrie is not some super long-range marksman or anything. She's just a regular marksman within an area. And then she has to do that, um, she has to do that back, that black back flick with her second ability. So that's pretty much she has to stay within an area to use that little back flick and actually hit somebody and that's a big big part of her damage so she has to be closer range so all three of their damage sources has to be closer to the enemies they have to be close you have nobody who has to, who, who, who can just camp back you have nobody who can just stand back shooting or somebody like granger you, you don't have that like and actually granger was open this game they could have chose granger they like they could have chose a different team comp but i think they were going for the synergy like if they did this by accident, like it, it, they well we know that they don't do this by accident. They they've been known for doing this type of stuff. But yeah, so as you can see, these two heroes has to be close range, and Carrie has to be close range to get that effect from her second ability. Then you have Estes, his heals. You have to be close range to get the benefits of his heals. So now he has a team comp that the damage all has to be close range, and now you have have a healer who has to be close range and help them out too. So this this like th these teammates right here they cover an area that's insane like this is just a if you fight within an area where all these heroes can get their um skills and stuff off how can you even beat that then you have um kacha i mean guitar guitar kacha and um he does the same thing basically he jumps down and slams within an area and then forces the enemies to attack him within that area so these are all, like every single one of these heroes are heroes that are super powerful fighting within a, a circle like the circle that um lilia has for her ultimate this is that's the power like that that's pretty much the range where all these heroes are super effective so we know that they're going to be getting into close range fights now the reason that this is very very smart is because look at their team comp all these heroes have to get in close to be effective all these heroes has to fight close range to be effective that's why this is the worst team comp possible you could have tried to use against that because esmeralda yeah she's like not, we're just gonna go through the gameplay i'm gonna show you all a few of the fights that took place throughout this gameplay so you can actually see this team comp being played in a way where um yeah it's not really much the enemies can do because of the synergy between these heroes so as we can see how the lane is set up you got lilia 
<clears throat> you got Lilia um, mid with the healer. And here go the first engagement about to happen. As you can see, you finna see some great rotations here. Bot lane came, and then immediately mid lane came right over. Look at this. That was a good wall from Grok. Because that would have been a lot worse for them if he didn't cut off those two people. That was a great wall from Grok. But look at this. The early game, like, as you can see, like, you, I want you all to see an actual team fight. But as you can see, the early game... They're they're um they're just sticking together right now. Estes was um focused on the healer because obviously um I mean not the healer. Estes was focused on the marksman because you need the marksman to stay alive and farm early game. The marksman is the most like the the most important person early game. You can't let your marksman go down basically. <clears throat> so yeah, Estes focused his heals on her. And then he's back in the mid lane. As you can see, he has that second ability too. That second ability that can deal a little bit of damage. Like if you ever played against Estus, like when he hits you with those abilities, those can sometimes hurt. Like his abilities can sometimes hurt, yo. So um, it's not like he do joke damages either. Like he does decent damage. He can do these that well, not against Esmeralda. <laughs> Esmeralda or the tank, but against the more squishies. And I mean Bane has heals too though, so. But yeah, when when they're um, when the whole team is attacking together, like right now, we're gonna see our first engagement. Let's see how this goes down. This is our first engagement here. <clears throat> Let's see, like look at this. Okay, so we have the tank right here who got stunned. But as you can see, this is their little attack radius right here. This is their attack radius. This circle, like this is as long as they're fighting like in this type of area right here. You can't get close to this. You can't get close to this at all. She's going to just be throwing bombs down. Tarizla's just going to hit his alt. And then all he, all, um, Gata has to do is hit his alt. And then they got Estes constantly healing them. What, like, you cannot, you cannot beat this. In a team fight, so Tarizla initiates with his ultimate. Tarizla hits that ultimate. And look at Estes healing within that range. They immediately just comboed all their abilities and just won that instantly. They forced the enemies to retreat. They fought like that. That was not even a fight. Like they couldn't do anything about that. Look at that. That was just an instant double kill because of that. That synergy is too strong. The synergy is way too strong. So Terizla instantly comes down. Look at look at look at the ground. Lilia threw out her abilities instantly. So Terizla had them trapped. She gets to throwing down bombs right on their heads. Then the second that um, Gatot's unstunned, clap, he just jumps down and destroys them. And Estes is right in the middle of everybody healing them. That synergy is w way too strong, yo. <clears throat> way too strong. All right, let's, um, <clears throat> I need my water, man. need my water. Yeah, they, they taking mid lane. The marksman's just farming by herself. No, Carrie needs a lot of farm. Um, let's see. I want to see another fight. Okay, let's see. So now, we're going to see another engagement here take place. Let's see if they're going to actually fight this. No, they just, they just left. Yep, so I want to get to another fight, another engagement. Let's see if we can fi find another engagement here. Cause I wanna, I wanna just show like this is not gonna be like just analyzing the whole game. I just wanna focus on showing you all synergy plays. This looks like an, this might lead to an engagement. Let's see. Let's see if this leads to an engagement. Nah. But now they have the help of the tower. So honestly, this is the best time for them to make, have an engagement. Yep. Got him. Now, now the other team, the, his, the teammates can't come up. Oh, they're going to engage right there. Yep. That's nice. Look at that. Okay. So let's 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 watch that over. So here, this time we don't have Terizla. So this is a, this, I mean, it's not a harder engagement, but it's not like they could just make sure people can't move and get away. That's why people got away um, more easily this time because they don't really have CC stopping people from getting away. So 
as you can see, he gets bursted down instantly. They all walk up in this area, and that's a bad move going against Gatot. They right in his range. They all walked up right there. Look at that. Black got him. And that's just with the hills right hill in that, that area. As long as they're in this little area right here, it's not much that anybody can do, yo. It's not much. And then Terizla's just split pushing right now. And then it looks like they're finna go for the objective. Yeah, that. See, now you see these combos, bro? Like, you see how well synergy works. So, <clears throat> Estes and, um, like, the, the way that the whole team, like, they can fight with even just three members of their team and three members of the team together still have great synergy. Like, like no matter which three you put together, there's good synergy there. There's really, really good, good synergy no matter which three you put together. So, <clears throat> it's going to be very, very hard to win fights against them. Now, let's look at this. Let's look at... Oh, yeah. This is a great engagement to watch. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> Selena landing them stuns though. You gotta give Selena credit. Yep, and he got he jumps in with his ultimate. And then um Gatot instantly jumps in. Gatot instantly jumps in. Um forces them to start attacking him. Estes is behind with the hills. Like then you see Lilia blowing him up. Like, how can you even what like are you really surprised that the enemy team did like the enemy team had a really bad team comp? And I, they picked Lilia first. I wonder if they decided to go with this particular strategy before the game started or if they did this particular strategy just to counter Esmeralda. Because that, that's what this does. This this really makes Esmeralda completely useless. This this um this type of team comp, this strategy. So um let's see if we can get another engagement. We're gonna probably try to get one more engagement. One more really good team fight. Look at that. See the synergy? He stops him from being able to move, so Carry can um get that close range. Like that's why I told you, two of them together, any two of them together, he stops him from being able to move, so Carry can get them close range attacks like crazy. The synergy, the synergy between these heroes are flawless. You can tell that Bren put a lot of thought into these um into this combo, and I wonder, like that's what I'm wondering. Like, I have, like, for me to do this, I have to sit down and really just think about it. Like, y'all saw in the video yesterday, that's what I sit down and do. I wonder if they came up with this comp on the, on the, like, on the, on the fly, just to try to counter Esmeralda, or if this is something that they've practiced. Because I think they've practiced it. They were like, okay, if somebody's going to use Esmeralda, we're going to try to get this comp, you know? I think this is, and, and it's some something that you can depend on. Like, nobody's going to pick the, the top, or nobody's picking, um, freaking, um, Estes. All right, so an engagement's about to take place. Yo, Selena's just hitting them stuns. Guitar engaged. Yep. Team still there. <clears throat> Let's just keep them all alive. They getting a few picks here and there. Pushing up the lane still. Look at this. Four start to attack. He four start to attack. The top four start to attack. They just took two towers at once. Yeah, it's nothing that, like, what can you do against this comp, yo? Don't tell me they ain't gonna get a kill this whole game, though. I don't remember it. Like, I know we watched this live on stream, but I don't remember if they end up getting a kill here. So, as you can see, all these synergy plays, like, there's, like, there's nothing that this team could have done. There's literally nothing that this team could have done because of this type of synergy. Dang, they didn't get a kill. That's tragic. But yeah. <clears throat> this is why synergy is so important in Mobile Legends, man. Because you can take heroes that's not meta, put them with meta teams, and it make the meta heroes so much more powerful than other meta heroes. Because people would argue that Esmeralda is one of the strongest heroes in the game. Is the one of the best heroes in the game. Like, in terms of tier, she would probably be top heroes, top three heroes in Mobile Legends overall. That's what people would argue. Now, they used, like, none of these heroes, I would, well, Lilia. Lilia is another one that's up there. Lilia is up there, but Lilia can't do it by herself. Like, you just can't do it by yourself with just Lilia. This team comp makes it so all these heroes are supercharged. 
they're supercharged. They have to stay close range. Like Lilia has to fight within a close range. So if they had a long, like if, even if they had Granger, this would have been a much harder game for this team. But because of the team comp that they chose, like Evos, they didn't choose the best team comp to like, I mean, Bren just countered them completely. They countered them completely with this team comp. But um, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Let me hear some of your thoughts. I just want to talk more about synergy and, and comp team combinations and stuff like that. So really try and, and point out how important it is and what you're able to do with it. Like the enemy team could not even get a kill on them because of this team comp. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to um, drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, Joe.